Hello. Thank you again for joining me. Today I'll be talking about one of the most significant but contested set of concepts in post-colonial studies, and that's central and periphery. Most of the times when we talk about the colonial relationships or the system of colonialism, we tend to even now think in this binaristic structure. Uh, and center in that sense is always uh, the metropolitan centers, the European capitals or European powers. And then with, within, within that logic, we define the former colonies as the periphery. And a lot of it has to do in the process of the cartography during the colonial times in which the metropolitan centers, the centers of power were considered the center and everything else that was colonized was considered the margin and the periphery. And even in our everyday vocabularies, those of us who are post-colonialists usually employ these two terms as stable terms. And there is a problem in that because that makes us speak as if we do, do believe that there was a center and that the post colonies were naturally marginal to that. So the first thing to keep in mind is that that binary structure itself was discursively produced through literature, through law, through uh, colonial representations of itself as the center. And it belongs into that binary structure where the Europeans thought of themselves as more civilized, as more developed, and hence having the right, the imperial and colonial right to go and occupy spaces and govern them. The best thing to keep in mind while employing these two terms is to understand that these terms are not natural, right? That they were discursively produced and that part of the struggle in the colonies was always to disrupt this binary structure by suggesting that periphery was not necessarily a geographic periphery and hence also a cultural periphery. It was the construct of the colonial system. It needed to be created in order for Europe to claim that they were civilized and all that. And that the purpose of post-colonial discussions, post-colonial theory, debates, politics is to disrupt that binary. And this central periphery or central margin periphery works in other areas as well. For example, in terms of patriarchy, uh, the roles of women in a society, political and other. And the purpose always is to disrupt that binary by suggesting that the marginal is not naturally marginal, right? Is marginalized through power. And the dominant is dominant because of discursive power and other material power and the purpose of any kind of revolutionary act or resistance is to disrupt that. But generally speaking in post-colonial theory, the central periphery metaphor or cartography or geography is used to discuss these power relations between the colonial powers and the colonies in the colonial space and how the marginal or the periphery is defined, created, discussed. A great example of that, the center and its philosophers, poets and politicians creating this other, this marginal, a great engagement with that of course is Edward Said's Orientalism which relies on a discussion of a discourse called Orientalism that creates the Orient a certain way as this marginal peripheral space to the so-called civilized world. And uh, another uses of usage of the two terms could also be when we discuss the binaries themselves. And I have a video on the binaries, binar binarism itself because the colonial system depended on that binaristic structure. So in terms of the colonial power and its existence and even the new imperialism that now exists, there is somewhat a natural belief still that there is a center, there is a hard center, and then we can map the peripheral from that 
And maybe that logic then works in favor of the powers that be, because if we already acknowledge that there is a center and we are marginal to it, then we are already enforcing that geography, conceptual and literal. So in post-colonial theory, the best way of handling these two terms would be to what Derrida would call, you know, put them under erasure to use them, but to use them with the knowledge that these are not natural terms and that disrupting that binary is also an important aspect of the practice of post-colonial studies and that never in our discussions and discourse, we should take these as two natural opposing binaristic signs that are not contested and that are not discursively produced. So overall, these are some of my brief views on center and periphery binaristic structure. Uh, to inform yourself a little more on uh, the binaries, please do watch the video on binaries. It will be in the description and I will soon also do another brief video on marginality itself and marginalization. So thank you for joining me. And as always, I'm really grateful. And if you like what I'm you know, sharing with you, please do subscribe and uh, I will now see you next time. Thank you so much for your time.